If you're not currently taking taurine, then you're probably going to be missing out on many benefits. So what I want to do in today's video is actually share one unique benefit of taurine that we haven't really discussed. Let's talk about why I love taurine and why I actually use it every single day. And so before we get into this video, I want to actually explore some pretty interesting research initially around how taurine supplementation makes animals actually healthier and live longer. So what I want to do is actually illustrate this particular diagram here, looking at taurine abundance and supplementation and looking at how it actually can extend lifespan in animal models and help them live longer. So what we're seeing is an increase in bone mineral density, improvements in pancreatic function, improvements in gut health, improvements in brain health, optimizing the immune system, decreasing fat mass, increasing energy output, and also supporting muscle contractions and muscle um, development. So what we can see here is taurine deficiency is associated with poor health. And so what we can see is the effects on aging hallmarks. Specifically, what we're seeing here is that taurine can help with senescence. It helps with intercellular communication. It prevents telomere shortening. It helps with nutrient sensing, epigenetic changes, helps with genomic instability, it also assists with loss of proteostasis. It appears to help with mitochondrial dysfunction and also stem cell exhaustion. So what is actually taurine? Where is it found? You've probably heard about it in Red Bull, but taurine is a naturally occurring compound found in our bodies and certain foods. Although it's often called an amino acid, it differs from the typical amino acids that make up proteins. Now, unlike protein building amino acids, taurine is a free amino acid meaning it doesn't get incorporated into proteins. Instead, it exists independently in tissues like the heart, brain, and muscles where it plays specialized roles. This compound is crucial for regulating cellular functions and supporting essential bodily processes. Notably, taurine contributes to heart and muscle health, acting as a helper molecule to ensure muscles work efficiently and the heart maintains a steady rhythm. Taurine is commonly added to energy drinks, but it's different from caffeine or other stimulants. Rather than stimulating the body, taurine helps balance the effects of these ingredients, supporting nerve and muscle function. Additionally, taurine has antioxidant properties, protecting cells from damage caused by harmful molecules called free radicals. In summary, taurine is a unique and vital compound distinct from protein-building amino acids, offering key benefits for heart, muscle, and overall cellular health. So what about taurine-rich foods? Well, we're looking at chicken heart, beef heart, and the heart from any mammal. Other taurine-rich foods include shellfish, ruminant meat, monogastric meat, eggs, and dairy, with milk being a particularly rich source. Now, the more you cook your sources of taurine, the less taurine is actually left in that food. Here are some other benefits of taurine. So the general actions acting as an osmolite, it regulates ion channels, intracellular calcium a regulator, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-neuroproliferative, uh, anti-endoplasmic reticulum stress as well. So we can see the different target tissues, CNS, heart, vascular system, immune system, liver, skeletal muscle, genitourinary system, and also the pancreas. So we're seeing that taurine here, a very cheap amino acid, easy to source, can have so many effects on different systems in the body. So the taurine abundance decreases during aging and a reversal of this decline through supplementation increases health span and lifespan in mice and worms and health span in monkeys. This identifies taurine deficiency as a driver of aging in these species. Now, here's a really interesting study on taurine and testicular functioning. This study here was looking at how taurine recovers testicular steroidogenesis and spermatogenesis in streptococcin induced diabetic rats. Um, and so what they're basically stating here is that this research explores the effects of taurine on male reproductive health in the context of diabetes. It focuses specifically on how taurine might help restore testicular function in rats with type 1 diabetes. In this study, taurine supplementation was found to help increase testicular weight and function in diabetic rats. It improved testicular steroidogenesis, which is the production of hormones like testosterone, by boosting the activity of enzymes involved in testosterone synthesis. Taurine also had a positive effect on spermatogenesis, resulting in higher sperm count, better motility, and fewer abnormalities. 
These improvements were likely due to taurine's influence on the hypothalamic pituitary testicular axis, a system of hormones that regulate the testes. Overall, the study suggests that taurine could be a promising treatment for reproductive issues caused by diabetes, likely because of its antioxidant properties and its ability to enhance hormone production and sperm quality. Real quick, do you feel like your current supplement stack isn't quite cutting it? If so, then you might want to check out my brand new supplement, Katwa Pure. Katwa Pure is a remarkable, lesser known Amazonian herb that has been used for centuries to support energy, mood, and libido. Scan the QR code on your screen to discover how Katwa Pure can take your supplement game to that next level. Now, what about how taurine specifically can help with infection resistance? And so looking at the theoretical background. So before we get into this study, I do want to provide a theoretical background because this is quite complex. Essentially, the gut microbiota plays a pivotal role in protecting the host from infections, a phenomenon known as colonization resistance. This process is dynamically influenced by prior infections, which can remodel microbiota function to enhance future resistance. Specifically, infections drive alterations in bile acid metabolism that expand microbiota taxa capable of utilizing taurine, a sulfonic acid. This study wanted to investigate if taurine supplementation alone is sufficient to enhance microbiota function, demonstrating its role as a critical nutrient in this context. Mechanistically, taurine was found to boost microbiota-derived sulfide production, which inhibits cellular respiration, a process essential for many pathogens to colonize the host. Consequently, the sequestration of sulfide disrupts the microbiota's protective role, facilitating pathogen invasion. This study proposes that infection primes the host to use taurine as a nutrient to train the microbiota, enhancing its capacity to resist subsequent infections. However, taurine supplementation alone can also have this effect. This taurine-driven enhancement of colonization resistance highlights a novel pathway linking host metabolism, microbiota function, and pathogen defense. Taking a closer look at the infection resistance, this study investigated the effects of several bacterial infections in mice, including Citrobacter rotendium, and, which is a gram-negative bacterium that induces colitis, mimicking uh, human inflammatory bowel disease, Streptos Streptococcus pneumoniae, which is a bacterium responsible for pneumonia, and other respiratory infections and mycobacterium tuberculosis, which causes tuberculosis, primarily affecting the lungs. Each bacterium was used to study immune responses, inflammation, and potential treatments in the context of infection. Mice were treated with taurine, bismuth, and streptomycin to alter microbiota or pathogen dynamics. Fecal and tissue samples were collected to measure bacterial growth, and competition assays with wild-type and mutant strains were conducted. Bacterial growth was also tested in vitro under different conditions. The study aimed to investigate the complex relationships between host, microbiota, and pathogens. So looking closer, we can see taurine-derived sulfide inhibits pathogen re uh, respiration. Taurine-trained microbiota enhances colonization resistance through the production of hydrogen sulfide, which selectively inhibits aerobic respiration in pathogens. Pathogens like Klebsiella pneumoniae and Citrobacter rodentium rely on aerobic respiration to exploit non-fermentable substrates for growth. The study highlights how taurine-derived sulfide disrupts this process, reducing pathogen fitness and colonization ability. Mechanism of sulfide action. Essentially, high concentrations of hydrogen sulfide inhibit cytochrome oxidases, essential enzymes in the aerobic electron transport chain. This impairs the pathogen's ability to utilize oxygen-dependent metabolic pathways. Model for taurine-enhanced resistance. Taurine supplementation potentiates microbiota-derived sulfide production, which impairs the aerobic respiration of gut pathogens. This restricts their ability to utilize strictly respiratory substrates, for example, 1,2-propanediol or formate, reducing colonization and enhancing host resistance. Interesting finding. However, when mice drank water containing bismuth subsalicylate, a common over-the-counter drug used to treat diarrhea, an upset stomach. Infection protection waned because bismuth inhibits hydrogen sulfide production. So the importance of this particular study, the study is significant as it suggests that taurine supplementation and past infections may both enhance the gut microbiota's ability 
to combat future infections by increasing sulfide production. Now, this finding highlights a fascinating connection between the immune system and the bacteria within us. The researchers discovered that during infection, the body utilizes taurine as a nutrient to train the gut microbiota, making it more resilient and effective at resisting pathogens. They also found supplying exogenous taurine alone is sufficient to induce this alteration in microbiota function and enhance resistance. Now, this breakthrough is especially critical as antibiotic resistance, a growing global threat, claims over 700,000 lives annually. Understanding how the microbiota develops a form of memory could lead to innovative strategies to strengthen natural defenses, such as through uh, taurine supplementation without relying on antibiotics. So finally, let's look at dosages for taurine, the typical safe dosages. The highest dose used in a human trial was 10 grams a day for six months. And the longest human trial was 12 months and used a dose of 0.5 to 1.5 grams per day. Based on the available evidence, it's suggested that three grams per day can be consumed indefinitely without risk of side effects. So that's pretty much today's video on taurine. If you're already using it and you love it, leave a comment down below, share your experiences. Just a reminder for those of you who haven't already tried my new supplement, Katwa Pure, I'll leave that linked in the video description. Definitely worth checking that out. And thank you to those who have actually supported me with this huge milestone, which is a release of my own supplement. So you can check that out at inbeforesups, inb4sups.com. Um, check that out. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.